everyone welcome to the real Ishe. so today i'm going to be talking about the shoe sewing machine that i use but first before i get into that i want to be talking about this giveaway that i'm going to be doing in november for christmas um so a lucky person can win these glitter timberlands um these timberlands have actually been sitting in my closet for a while they were mailed back to me due to um the wrong address and I don't know what happened to the person who um, initiated the order, but nonetheless, this is a free pair of shoes that I am giving and pretty much donating to whomever wants them. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel, give me a beautiful thumbs up, and leave in the comment below, yes, below, now, here in this video, on why you deserve these boots, okay? Why do you deserve these boots? So. I'm actually, before I give these away, um, I'm going to be sending them off in November so people can have them in time for Christmas, whoever wins this. And I'll put the size below on what um, size this actually is. This is a size 7. I think this may be a junior 7. Yeah, this may be a junior. Yeah, this is a junior 7 shoe. So you can see what is compatible with, with, your, with your foot. Or if you have a loved one who you think is going to like it, I suggest you know you let them know. But I will be coming on here doing a DIY going over these boots again with the fuchsia glitter because they have been sitting in my closet for a long time and they do need to be refurbished. But overall, these are new boots. They've never been worn. So if you're interested, again, leave your comments below. Like the video, subscribe to my channel because I will be looking for that. And um, you can win you a free pair of custom glitter Timberland boots with fur around the collar. Okay, so now let's get into it. Now, I've been getting a few emails here and there for a while of people asking me, what type of sewing machine do you use? What shoe repair machine are you using? Okay, so, and I've been getting some rude ass comments too. Some people getting mad because I'm so busy I don't respond. But, you know... It is what it is. So I want to show you the exact machine that I use, letting you know that this machine is an antique industrial machine, okay? My background is in fashion design. I um, took fashion design for two years, so I'm used to using industrial machines. When I first got this machine, I was not used to using a shoe repair machine. I was used to using the standard sewing machine, but from an industrial perspective. And industrial machines, they're hardier um, and they go really fast. So with this machine, which is an antique machine and you cannot find it anywhere unless you go to your um, your local maybe shoe repair um, shop and they may have it for sale because that's how I got it. I actually accidentally came across a shoe repair place that I was trying to get my shoes repaired. And I saw the machine and I saw the guy sewing and I was like, oh... I can actually use that for some designing and he actually sold it to me for about 900 bucks which is a deal but I do have a similar there is a similar um, shoe repair machine that I'll put down below in the link that you can check out it's very similar to the, for, to the machine that I have except my machine is, runs off a motor okay so I'm going to show you my machine okay so this is the machine that I use for my shoe designs okay and um Again, it's an old, as you can see, it's an antique. It's very, it's it's made out of steel. I mean, this thing is heavy to carry. It, it takes about two strong men to carry and pick up this machine here. So this is an overview of my machine. And um, I'm going, I'm not going to be doing any sewing today on the machine. Thinking about having you guys mail in some of your used shoes or shoes that you've been wanting to get done at your own risk of course and to have me place a design on them for you and I mail them back all you have to do is cover the cost of the mailing so mailing it to me and mailing it back that's all you have to cover the cost of and I'll design it for you and then we'll shot you out on YouTube letting you know you know these are your shoes this is a design that this person requested and then we'll mail you your shoe back so let me know what you guys think about that and leave your comments below also for those who are trying to learn maybe 
one-on-one -on -one steps process on how to sew shoes um, like if you're a customizer and you're trying to get into actually learning how to sew fabric onto shoes if you're interested in that and wanting to know um, step by step and the slow process of how to do that leave your comments below I can possibly do a, a, a beginners tutorial for those who want to learn how to sew fabric onto the shoes and certain designs in general I may be putting that on a private video though for those who are truly 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 interested in that okay um, another thing I wanted to, to um, oh yeah I wanted to let you guys ask you guys about the design so so a DIY that I'm going to be doing probably next week or so I'm going to be doing these Air Force Ones so I know it's a lot in one video on what to do, right? So I'm going to be doing these Air Force Ones and I'm curious as to which fabric should I be using and what, what fabric do you guys think I should use? This is the fabric one I'm going to say. This is the floral kind of Asian floral fabric. Can you see? I think this is pretty cool. And then this is the obvious. <laughs> rainbow I'm not gonna say what but this is a rainbow so this is two and then this is three which is another type of this is actually a tropical floral fabric you can see okay so this is three so which three fabrics should I use to design this shoe and what would you like to see placed on the shoe? Like in what area would you like to see covered? Okay. So leave your comments down below. I hope this video gave you a chance to see what type of sewing machine that I use. Okay. And um, again, if you have any comments, just leave them below. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in and have a great day. Bye-bye.